Well, I mean, like before you go live or something like that, you really, I mean, you got something, you got something like right here, right, we right here. Time. We've, we've got to go on right now. Well, there's no time I, for look, that. I'm telling you, it's noticeable. I mean, it's not just a few whiskers. I mean, I, you probably should have. We don't have time. We're late already. Uh, oh, wait, we're, we're, all right. All right. I will cover the best I can. Just okay. what be, act the natural. The light's on. The light's on. Uh, okay. Hello and welcome to Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes. This is episode number 178 and this is The Secret Show. I'm Patrick Steer and here is Mark Sargent. <laughs> Screw <Wow>. you, San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you find that? Did you draw that? No. It, 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 it came with a bunch of stickers, and I thought, I know what I can do with this. <laughs> <laughs> it was disturbing. Terrifying. It was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Whew. Ah, well. Let's get down to business. Let's do some flat earthing. Hello to all who are in our live chat. Uh, the show was set up very spur of the moment, a uh, little bit late today due to some things I had to do involving my car, but all is well now. And uh, Robbie D will be joining us from Celebrate Truth in just a minute or two. And he's going to be giving us some really good news, excellent news about uh, the flat earth international conference coming up in Raleigh, North Carolina uh, in the fall. And the news is that, um, well, there's more tickets. Among other things, yes. Yeah, among other things. And so I'm, we're waiting I'm, for Robbie well, to join us and I'll go. I'm opening up in a notepad so that we can do the video award category as people get in there. Yeah, we do want to ask uh, anyone who would like to contribute a category for the Flatty Awards or a nominee for the Flatty Awards. You can you can nominate yourself if you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, please do. You can send that to myself, misssteer at gmail.com or mark, msargent23 at comcast.net. And um, we'll have the categories laid out eventually. But right now we're kind of open, open to suggestions. We have the ones we used a little bit over a year ago and we're we'll probably reuse some of those but new ones are great so yeah do you have that list lying around no mm -mm. we have it <laughs> mentally and we have it forever emblazoned on video so yeah yeah we can yeah. go through that old chestnut and watch that show again yeah we could yeah i don't yeah, think i want to though <laughs> okay. although i think we could come up with better category the or the chat could come up with better categories we need yeah. we need a we need about 30. Yeah. that's what we're looking for so uh, if you want to put a category down, email it to myself or Mark or a nominee for a particular video, send that to us as well. We are definitely open to suggestion. Um, in fact, sometimes we're too suggestible. So I'm headed over us. to the live chat. One of us. <laughs> so what do you know about RH negative blood types, by the way? What do I know? Yeah, like what have you heard? I mean, I know a lot of flat earthers have talked about it, and we'll get it into is, this a little later in the show. So it is tied. Well, okay. The if you look it up yourself, the clinical definition is tied to they're concerned about it when if you're pregnant, if you're a woman, if you're pregnant, because you should be tested to see if you're positive and the baby's negative, or you know, if you're opposite from your baby, because that could pose potential problems down the road. Potential problems. But if you're looking on the conspiracy side of things, the RH negative side is tied to the Nephilim. Supposedly. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah. But there's other I don't know things if I'm, too. I, maybe. Well, there's other conspiracies that most presidents have been, and a royalty have been RH negative. Hmm. So, I can see that. I didn't even know that RH, I didn't even hear the term until this year. Yeah, it's it's in flat earth circles and other conspiracy circles, it's being talked up a lot. Yeah. And so I remember a long time ago, somebody told me I was RH negative and I took a test and I think that's what the results were. But this is way before flat earth and all these other things popped in my head and I started exploring. It was back when I was in the matrix, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I didn't pay much attention to it. And I don't know how to find out. I remember 
remember even asking my parents when they were alive what my blood type was and they didn't know. So that's why I'm thinking it's not RH negative because my mother would probably have been told, warned or something when I was born. No idea. If, but, that, if it was even a, a thing yeah. back in the day. I mean, I, I bought this kit on Amazon and I linked it in the description box of this video. Let me grab it here somewhere. I put it somewhere safe, you know, that place where you ever, never can find things after you put it somewhere right. safe. Um, I, put I mean, the, I know, and, and you know me, I, I love to collect aesthetic information and I knew about the eight blood types and I even heard a conspiracy story, oh God, probably five, six years ago that the CIA was trying to collect data because if you were in the negative blood type, so there's eight blood types, there's A, B, A, B, and O positive, and then there's the negative versions of those. And they were checking to see if you were like a A, B negative or O negative because, you know, they, they thought it was tied to some other civilization, you know, like you were just part of another group, a sleeper. And so supposedly, what would they do if they found out that was your blood type? Kill well, that's you? just it. They never really said. I don't think a lot of people disappeared because they showed up as like an O. The rarest blood type is O negative. I think Nathan Oakley is O positive. Positive. I think yeah. So. I mean, that's not, I mean, the, the most commons are, you know, A, B and A, B positive. He did a show on it recently. So it's on the Nathan Oakley 1980 channel, if you want. I, when I had my surgery, when I almost died, mm -hmm. uh, they, I would have thought that they would have, you know, because they, you, you have to sign a thing saying that you're, you know, you're, you're eligible for blood transfusion. And they never did tell me my blood type. Got to turn your thing Bobby, that way. Sideways, unless we can do our show this way. If you want. No, that I way. can turn it. There we go. <laughs> Better. Hello. How are Hello. you, Bobby? Doing great. Busy, really busy, but it's, uh, it's really exciting. I wanted to pop in and make a couple of announcements uh, for people that haven't heard yet. We've added David Weiss uh, deep inside the rabbit hole. A lot of people know him as D-I-T-R-H, so that's really exciting news. And then also we added Pastor Dean Odell. Of course, Rob Skeeb is going to be there to give a really strong biblical perspective, but Pastor Dean has been making a lot of uh, waves with uh, his uh, sermons and different things that he is doing. So we're really excited to kind of add him to the lineup. So that's uh, two big announcements. And also wanted to mention that uh, we've got uh, big news for the people that are really wanting to get into the conference, knowing it's been sold out. I've been able to work with the venue, arrange seating, squeeze as many people as we can. So next week, we're going to be releasing another 50 to 60 tickets. So if you're wanting to be on the waiting list for those tickets, go to fe2017.com. Go to the ticket page, and at the very bottom, you will see the waiting list where you can be added, and uh, we will be releasing tickets next week. So for anyone that can't get to the conference, knows that they know that they're not going to be able to take part. We have early bird online streaming tickets. $17 gets you both days, and then after the early bird's over, it goes to $27 for the two days. But the online streaming part just finalized the deal with the production crew. It's going to be a four-man production team. The online streaming is going to be the next best thing. So don't worry. We're going to give you an incredible experience and excited for more announcements to come your way. Robbie, I have to ask you, I know you're in Canada, but are you in an earthquake zone? Because the camera is just moving. Yeah, I'm crazy. holding it. I'm holding it. I had it set up. I, uh, I have a barbecue going on, so I had to kind of grab my phone real quick. So All right. I had it set up, but now I had to turn it. So I'm kind of holding it. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Enjoy your barbecue. This is really wonderful news. I have not met the pastor. I just subscribed to his YouTube channel the other day. And of course, I think I might know D-I-T-R-H. So, yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, so it's uh, it's really exciting. And uh, just uh, uh, did an interview with uh, the Raleigh Observer, and that article just got posted today, um, talking about how we're coming to storm Raleigh, North Carolina. So a lot of the local press there now are starting to wake up to what's going on? Why is everyone coming here? And uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how uh, the media attention, there's going to be, I think, up to up to three documentary crews shooting at the conference. And I'm getting a lot of press. And I know that Mark and other people are getting a lot of press attention right now, but it's going to amplify as we get you know, closer to the event. So hopefully we can have a very professional front that we can be able to answer the questions they may have. And a lot of people will get interested in this topic because you can't really ignore it when you got, you know, six, 700 people coming to one area excited about this topic. So hopefully we're going to be able to really make a mark this year. We are definitely. And you are behind it. You're the originator of it. And we really appreciate you, you putting this together. So 
Yeah, well, I'm excited you. for everyone that's uh, going to be there. And then also absolutely Mark and, and uh, you, you've just been absolutely amazing. So everyone that's actually part of the lineup, guys have been just absolutely incredible working together, knowing that this is bigger than any one person, any one personality and bringing people together of all different beliefs, all different uh, types uh, of backgrounds. I think that it's really going to, it's going to send a, a big message uh, to the world and saying, Hey, we're here, we're here to stay. And this is an important topic. They would have just gone away if there was nothing to it. And yet it's continuing to snowball, getting bigger each and every day. You're live streaming now, 24-7 live streaming on the Celebrate Truth yes. channel. That's great. Yes. Yeah, I started uh, Celebrate Truth Live. So for anyone that's interested in biblical flat earth, ODD had an amazing live stream. And uh, actually, big thanks to, uh, to him. He was able to help me you know, with a few tips. And then even when I got it started, he helped me with a few things that he had kind of observed you know, since he had his up, but I wanted to provide a place for people that were interested in just a strong biblical perspective, a Christian viewpoint, and uh, everyone's welcome. But uh, again, it was an area where people could come together and that could learn from great Bible teachers. Rob Skiba is featured, The Truth is Stranger Than Fiction. We got Zen Garcia. Uh, we got Pastor Dean Odell. You know, my uh, stuff as well. My documentaries are, are playing in there as well. And we're adding some new people uh, all the time. We're finding some really good content providers out there when you start digging around and being able to give them a larger platform and that more people will be able to, to, you know, look at, look into their stuff if they're interested in this vantage point. When I gave the interview yesterday with, um, with the Raleigh observer, I said, there's three vantage points that people are coming to this, you know, they're coming to it using the scientific method. That's all they want to do is try to look at our world and try to evaluate it based on the scientific method. Or there's the conspiratorial crowd, the people that are questioning things that maybe there's some suspicious things going on, cover-ups. Hey, I want to get to the bottom of it. Or the spiritual point of view. Maybe they want to look into a biblical. So the religious component is there as well. So all three of these things are going to be represented at the conference. And again, we understand that there are three types of people all coming to this. And that's what's so exciting. It's not just one group. It's not just a religious thing. Or it's not just a conspiracy thing. We've got three major types of people coming to this. And I think that's really exciting. So I'm looking forward to November and more of it, more uh, announcements to come your way. Interesting. Some people have asked me, why are there these live streams all the time? I go on and I've seen these videos before. It's boring. And what I say is they're probably not for you. You've seen them. It's for new people. At any moment, a person might wake up to Flat Earth Reality and go to YouTube and they'll be able to find 24 hours, all those videos that we kind of grew up on, cut our teeth on. I think that's Correct. what they're for. And that's what's happening. A lot of people are stumbling across them and, and there's great moderators. I want to say big thanks to all my great moderators that are helping to keep things running smoothly um, with, uh, with the chat room. But there's a lot of people that have questions. There's people that cause problems, but I mean, we deal with that pretty quickly, but it's the people that are generally interested and that have these questions. So there's a lot of new people that are stumbling across and they've never seen this content. And some people, oh, you know, when you get to like three, 400 videos that you produce, a lot of your stuff people have never seen because it gets buried, you know, in time. So this is a great way to, to have classics and have really good content uh, for people to see. So yeah, I understand that some people have seen it and they might find it boring, but if you come back at another time, you might be surprised in what you see. Yeah. We have not, no matter how hard we try, seen everything there is to see in flat earth. We miss things. We're human, you know? Absolutely. Well, enjoy your barbecue. Thanks for popping on. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me and uh, have a great show and hello everyone. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. It's Robbie D of Celebrate Truth. I put a link to his channel in the description box. And it was nice of him to come on, even if he's in the middle of an earthquake. But, you know, he's a trooper. <laughs> I hear about those Canadian earthquakes. They can be they can be dicey. Yeah, they can be. I hope, I hope he's okay. It's a lot of maple syrup when spilled when those things happen. Wow. Really? You're going to throw the maple syrup in there? <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. Let's see. I want to say hello in our live chat to ODD Reality. We were just speaking about him and Timaeus and Arwin. Dougie Z, who says so much content can't keep up. So true. Awakened Mind is here too. And Christopher, Flat Earth Jamaican Titan is here. Wow. Jen L is here and uh, she wrote Scrunch's Eyebrows. Hmm, okay. <laughs> uh, also, we have um, Ace McLeod here saying hello to ODD. And they're talking about going to the art show this weekend. You know, the one that's in Albuquerque. Right. That, uh, is being put on by IPS. So I can't wait to see whose art has made it. He's shown some on some of his live streams, talked yeah. about some, and uh, it'll be it'll be really cool. The first ever Flat Earth art show. And, you know, he's getting things going. He's making things happen. So, yeah. you know, I think that's wonderful. Yep. 
Um, we've got uh, Jamel, 27th, and uh, a form of Cigar Face, Cigar Face Voorhees. So I don't know. Richie Roger is here asking about Brian Mullen. As far as we know at this point, Brian Mullen is going. He's not yet told us he hasn't, although his channel and his Facebook are down. It remains to be seen. There's no secret that I'm keeping from you. I don't know anything other than what I've told you. Um, if he decides not to come, when we find out, you'll be the first to know. So I think he's just laying low. We've already talked about before the very high likelihood that a troll personality or someone associated with that personality contacted um, a board that oversees uh, engineering engineers engineers and got uh and got brian um put back on his heels i guess told to stop with the flat earth stuff publicly now is that 100 percent what the reason is we don't know the answer to that it's just something that's been in the wind yeah um hello to Irk childs as well thanks for being here and also felix i am who says catchy thumbnail haha <laughs> yeah it's a Vampirus, and that's because we're going to be talking RH negative blood. Hello to Good Times for All, uh, an awesome channel. That's G U D T I M S, the number four, all. He does his own thing, but he's also been on with Nathan Oakley before. Persian scribe as well. Um, who else is here? A E Solonius. Uh, Good Times for All was talking about his blood type, A B negative. And we also have Geo Shifter as well who said we shouldn't buy cats from Amazon. Yeah, that's probably risky because you never Buying know. Buying cats from Amazon? <laughs> but Is that even a real thing? Prime, it only takes a couple of days for the cats to get to you. Wow, so. really? <laughs> uh, uh, you've been exposed, Azan, and uh, he said, glad you're doing a show now. My day can go faster with the truth. You've been exposed, awesome channel. Mister is saying RH positive equals supposedly monkey blood. And uh, Marilyn Wiseby is saying, see you Saturday, Patricia, in Royal Leamington Spa. Yes, indeed. So many people are going to this thing. It's a big event in the UK, the town of the Royal Leamington Spa. I'm leaving tomorrow, flying there. I'm going to have a cat sitter here for my, my three cats. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be going there. The event is Saturday at noon at Jepson Park. Details are in the description box of this video. And there are some videos out there on my channel and Nathan Oakley's channel. And I know that uh, Martin Leakey talks about it as well. Uh, what back? else? Hmm? When are you coming back? Hmm? Never. Um, I think I'm coming back Monday. Yeah. So I'll okay. be here for our next Wednesday show. For Got sure. it. Call um, Homeland. <laughs> Let them know. Mal Malav Cocktail Truther is saying hello to Laurel Austin, who's here as well. And you scroll all the way up. Australia is flat is here too. And, uh, and I said, Laurel Austin already. Um, just hello, hello, hello to the beats freaks. And, um, I think I said hello to everybody that had come in originally. And then more people have popped in since then. Uh, hello to Jen L too. And flat magic and X stranger XX. Hey, um, I think I've got it all. Uh, Malav is putting up the Flat Earth Chicago meetup into the live chat. And I might as well mention it since we're here. It's coming up the 22nd of this month, July 2017, between 2 and 6 p.m. at Hawthorne's Backyard Bar and Grill in West Chicago, Illinois. And you can check out the Flat Earth Chicago Facebook for more information. And if you're in the live chat, you can just click on that link. So. Oh, There's hello also, to Rand from the um, um, meetup going to be happening in Vegas Oh, fairly soon. So mm -hmm. there's one, there's one actually tomorrow and then there's one on the 27th. So they've already been doing the groups, but I just started doing the promotional stuff for it today. Um, I was saying flat out elected. Hello. Hello to Rand. Uh, Irk Childs is saying the secret shows are my favorite. We get more Illuminati cards today. Yes, indeed we do. Thanks for oh, reminding crap. us. Break those out again. Oh, hey to Nicole Cote who just joined us. She's been doing some great videos. Also, And you know, you know you made it, Nicole, when you have dedicated videos against you. Yeah, that's, that's it. How you know you've made it, made it into the next level. So. Nicole and I are now officially sisters <laughs> exactly yeah i was i was happy to see you know even though i don't like people picking on you know I, it was when i saw it it's like oh that's nice nicole has her own troll yeah there you that's go happy. you know trolls are fun you can collect them you can trade them you exactly 
toy with them. Sure. Or ignore them. Yeah. Uh, hello to VB Validation Boy, Wisdom of Fool Weakness, and Lucifer Tim is here as well. Um, I met Lucifer Tim, uh, who used to go by the name of Psychedelic Christian, at the Oxford meetup last June. So we met in person. And uh, who else? Spake Face is here as well from Australia, sending some flat love. And um, that's it for the moment. We'll come back and check out uh, the live chat in a bit. Well, you know, since Irk Childs mentioned the Illuminati cards, shall we? Uh, shall I send you over mine? Yeah, you, I know you're familiar. Oh, yeah, right. Send me, over, send me over your your cards. All right. I don't know where we left off, but I've got mine right here. So here they come. Take them. Here you go. There it. There it. I got it. Got it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ooh, nice. Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> All right, All so right. where did we leave off? We were doing five each. Yeah, we were doing five each, and you I believe start. we're doing them alphabetically. Well, I don't know in what order I, I put them back in. Well, here. <laughs> I'll just pick five from the bottom. I'm, I'm going to start from the bottom. All right, cool. Okay, so uh, do, do you want me to just do five and then you do five? Uh, yeah, let's do it that way. Okay, these are, we're going to start with, tell me if you can see it. Yes. Martial law. And that's pretty funny because on our Flatoween show, which we didn't do this year, you dressed up as martial law. Martial law, the comic book character. Yeah. yeah. Uh, miracle diet plan. That's interesting. Yeah, I thought so. What's that about? Um... I don't know. I mean, it's just one of those things. Yeah. Well, it is one of those things that's been part of, you know, I remember in the 70s, my mom always trying to lose that last 10 pounds. I think we spoke of this on other shows with all the trendy diets that were in fashion at the time, including a diet uh, chocolate thing, like a chocolate it's bar called AIDS. So maybe that was forecasting the um, slim fast and the, the crazy miracle diet things that maybe, I mean, everywhere. most of the text has to do with how the card is played. It's not right, right. very, only maybe the top line has to do with it. In this case, it's like over 2 million sold, you know, but it's a, you know, it's a fairly you know big woman there. Right. Miracle. Kind of like the Keebler, you know, some of the, uh, the, 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 the half that they cut that the fat in half, but then people eat twice as much. Oh yes. Yeah, that's remember her when they had uh, what was it? Um, a certain type of products that they didn't. I think there was no fat in them. Or there was there was a certain ingredient that uh, caused you to have really bad diarrhea. Oh what yeah, was that? It was um, in fact, uh, Frito Frito. Well, I'm sorry, Frito Lay made a protein built into some of their experimental chips. But what was yeah. that stuff called? Uh, I'd have somebody look it up. Live in chat, chat now. What it, what it did that. Was, a leaky, um, leaky gut. It caused le leaky oh, it leakage. It was horrible. Well, it, let's let's call it what it is. It was explosive diarrhea. Is exactly. What it, was. it was horrible. But what it did was the protein was designed to where it wouldn't break down until it actually got through your your digestive system. So you actually didn't act absorb anything from the chip, and so you'd still get that. You know, you'd still be able to eat the chips but you wouldn't get be getting any calories from it. Well, the side effect of that was your digestive system didn't like that entire routine and really fought you and it was gross. Alestra, Travis yes, Bickle. Didn't you say Alestra? Oh, yes. sorry, it was hard to I hear. I am a treasure trove of aesthetic you, knowledge. I absorb all media. Useless information. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's a curse. It's useful now though, so. All right, so my, my other three cards. Yeah. Uh, okay. We got, um, let's see here, Mob Influence. Hmm. Which could be tied to something, I suppose. Okay. I like, by the way, that martial law was set in front of the White House, if you guys didn't notice that. Perfect, actually. Yeah. We've all been uh, thinking that's going to happen anytime soon. I mean, those who are super conspiratorial. I've, I went through that phase. In 2015, the September 23rd, uh, that there was going to be some kind of martial law. I went through some fear. I remember talking to you at great lengths about that. We did a few shows where we mentioned it. And oh, yeah. It was a bit... I was a bit panic, panic stricken slightly. A little bit. You know, and then after that, any single time I hear, oh, the big one's coming. You guys better be ready. Martial law. I'm just going to laugh because yeah, I think the world keeps on flatting. I'm going to say turning. Flatting, but I think things guys. keep going forward. Yeah, and we just keep, we're not going anywhere. No, we're not. 
Uh, my fourth card is Martyrs. Dun dun dun. And mm -hmm. if I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's somebody that got run over by a tank. Oh, which is Tiananmen Square? Is that Tiananmen Square base? Yeah, I was about to say, I don't know. Somebody look up when Tiananmen Square was, but I think that was after this card was made, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I can't also, there's a, there's a hope was. that that whole thing didn't really happen. By Somebody the look up. And the fifth one, and again, I'm just going in, in order how I got it in the deck. Very appropriate. My fifth card, what I'm going to end with, Media Blitz. Look at those triangles. Yeah, all right. Is that just supposed to be in lieu well, of Earth any product? Triangle, in my opinion. Ah, or yeah. that's a fidget spinner, one of the two. Nice. It's good. Sure anyway, like so there you go. Martial Law, Miracle Diet Plan, all M's in this case. Mob Influence, Martyrs, and Media Blitz. All right, here we go with my five. Mm -hmm. I've got this, which is California. California. Nice. And that we've got the tan guy and the you know, girl, and they've got cocktails, and yeah. That's and, cool. And they're in a hot tub, too, so. California, probably the most hated state in the in the uh, union. I remember people would call them weird and super liberal and that kind of thing. California still is really weird, but look at, but I mean, it's the most creative state. I loved living in Northern California. I lived in Southern for a year. It was okay, but I love Northern California. Napa Everybody Valley, California. Sonoma Valley. Um, I lived in Marin County in Nevada. Nevada is just the fringe end of Marin County. It's not close to the Golden Gate Bridge. It's the farthest point within that county. Anyway, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yep. Up next, we've got the Corporate Masters. Look nice. At the, look at the sign he's making with his hands there. Yep, doing a little triangle with his hands there. Very good. And he's got that uh, sort of Gotham City... Evil yeah, it's got a Joker thing. Joker going. vibe with the colors, yeah. Yeah, with the purple. All right. Nice. I love purple. It's one of those things if you wear it, people are like, oh, Illuminati. You like purple? No. No. I love every color. All right. What else got? Next up. Center for Weird Studies. Interesting. Look at that mask. That looks sort of underwater deep diver. So it's sort of a think tank, but it's kind of an X Files thing. That's mm -hmm. interesting. I've never, I've never seen that card. You know what? A, these days, our think tank on Flat Earth is like him or not. It's IPS. That show has become a think tank where people are. You know, everyone's like, "Oh, there, everyone's got a wrench. There's a wrench issue." Okay, forget about all that. He can should run we his call, channel as he wants. Should we call the IPS card? Let's see. It says, "Well, I, what, what I was going to." Yes, I think we should. It's a think tank because people are going in there and thinking of new ways to tackle the globe and coming yeah. up with ideas and they're putting them into practice. So it's pretty darn good. good. Uh, this says home of the high energy cheese lab, <laughs> control room project and other things they don't teach in physics class. Interesting. So, okay. Uh, that's three down and then two to go. Ah, oh, this is not very vegan. Should have had you read this one. The New World Order, a chicken in every pot. Oh, uh, like no, Car the Garage, that... a little takeoff on that the Carnival Garage, also known as the Family Wagon. And if you shorten that, it's Volkswagen, Volkswagen. Interesting. That was, the, now, that was the big slogan for the Nazi party. And this also looks like that famous painting, and my mind is blanking now because I'm not particularly... Oh, yeah, yeah, artist. yeah, the farmer There's... and his wife. And the pitchfork, I think yeah. he's holding a pitchfork. Famous <laughs> painting that everyone everyone actually did parodies of in videos. Right, exactly. Um, it looks like here we've got uh, a remote control in one hand, and what is that thing? Some kind of a clock. I don't know I what don't that know. is. That's with some kind of weird thing bird thing on it with two heads. Uh, really? Is there two heads on that bird? Kind of. And then well, look that, at that the solar the panels at the top of the house. And the guy's wearing preppy clothes, and she's wearing like a vintage jewelry. These things have so many layers to them. Right. Yeah, that is. No, it's not a bird with two heads. It's a bird with wings, this brown thing here. Oh, okay. It's good. Okay. What's your last card? Four, and then we've got five here. This one's called Citizenship Award. 
Ah. I'm not sure what that is. Citizenship award. Being a good citizen. Or people being awarded citizenship. The guy looks very, somewhat Nixon-esque. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking, kind yeah. of. And the woman looks like somebody from that old TV show, Laughing. Right. Ruth Buzzy. Oh. She looks like Ruth Buzzy, if anybody's old enough to remember who that actress is. I would actually know who Ruth Buzzy is, yes. Yeah, sort of like that. Yeah. But then every woman had that hairstyle back then, including my mom. Now, how much hairspray do you need to create that hairstyle? Beehive. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. All right. So we'll save more for next time around. This is fun. I love these things. I always wanted to get some, but it's so expensive. I know. And, uh, we appreciate the gentleman who sent them to us. And yet again, we are Illuminati confirmed because we play with the card game. Yes, we do. Now, are these reprints reminds me that, that or Steve originals? These were, these are originals, not reprints. Somebody. Uh, as far as I know, they're originals. Right. I like mean, they were they were um, uh, blessed by the 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 dark priests. <laughs> blessed. So I, I <laughs> don't say cursed, those, Whatever. Don't say that. It reminds me of the uh, the Stephen Wright joke where he goes, uh, "I played one time. I played poker with a tarot card deck." He goes, "I got a full house, and three people died." <laughs> I know. I used to own a tarot card deck and a Ouija board. It's true. My sister had a Ouija board. It freaked me out. And it was in my closet for some reason. And I didn't want it there. I, I played with it with my sister and some other girlfriends at a sleepover. A pretty creepy uh, Ouija board movie remake that came out last year. I should check it out if you get a chance. I've never understood Ouija boards. A lot of people say, oh, they, you know, you can bring in demons and all of that. Maybe there's something to that. But yeah. also, maybe there's something to the fact that somebody who's holding their fingertips, uh oh, there's the sirens again. What do they know? Do they know? I know. Yeah. Do they know it's this particular time on a no, Wednesday? Okay. Again, I have a scatter pattern working. They're never going to find it. All right. Uh, so does does one person who's has their fingertips on the little Ouija board thing, whatever it's called, slightly push it? Well, not? you don't you don't know. That's the big mystery. You don't know who has more influence than others. You know, it's a group it's a group effort thing, and I don't know. It's it's interesting. I never put much stock into it though. I don't know if boys have slumber parties. Do they? You mean like pillow fights and <laughs> slow mo pillow fights and lingerie? Writing in our journals and and doing, doing each other's, each other's nails. hair and nails. Yeah, the yeah. cotton balls and. So the answer no. is yes, because <laughs> you've no, been. To no, we don't. Not like that. No, no, it's not. In fact, they're not even called slumber parties. They're called just hanging out. You coming right. over? Pretty well, much it. as girls, we had plenty of slumber parties, and uh, all those things occurred. But also, the Ouija board would come out. And also this other game where somebody would lay down when it was, uh, and, and other people would put their fingertips slightly under the oh, body. Oh, right. that's straight out of uh, that's straight out of the craft. Oh, well, it doesn't the, have the anything movie. to do with um, witchcraft. Why is, why is a feather stiff as a board? Right. I think we, I think some of the girls heard about it somewhere, and you know we'd all do it, and then we could never lift anybody up. We failed miserably. Another one, you know, little girl slumber party, nineteen seventies, would be look in a mirror and say some weird thing, and then you're supposed to see an evil face. But I was too afraid to even try it. <laughs> Who wants to see oh, an evil face uh, in a mirror? Blood, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, that, yes. that whole thing. Yeah, These things are all over America. I don't know what other countries they're in. Not as much as you might think, but you'll hear about that in comments later, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, people say, oh, look, she's wicked. She knows it. everybody in the 70s played these games. Here's another one. You, It's a practical prank joke at a slumber party. When someone's sleeping, the mean girl of the group, which was never me, uh, would put dunk a sleeper's hands in water so they would fingers that's all you have to do is fingers pee the bed so. yeah it stimulates the um urinary tract and and if you're lucky it's got to be warm it's got to be a little bit above room temperature and uh, yeah they'll they'll pee the bed sleepovers were fun because there'd be pizza and popcorn and m watching movies and laughing and the mother or father would be bells. angry and no chanting <laughs> no it was fun but i want to kill everyone <laughs> satan is good satan is no. my pal no 
stuff. Yep. Yep. No, but one time uh, I got invited to a sleepover party and it was, you know, I didn't even know it was going to happen. My mom got a call. There was no invitations. And she said, you're going to a sleepover. I said, whose birthday? And my mom told me the girl's house it was at. And I said, she doesn't have a birthday. Why are we going? She said, oh, you'll love it. I went. she had chicken pox? It was a chicken pox sleepover yeah. party. She fooled us. I got yeah. chicken pox. So did That's my one sister. of those little mother's tricks. Uh, it's amazing. It's These like, days they have a vaccine against chicken pox. I would never want to give my child that vaccine. No, give him chicken pox. I, had a, I have a tiny little scar in my eyebrow. I can't really see it. Everybody, Yeah, if you're lucky and you tell the kid, don't pick it, then you're fine. Then, and then calamine lotion, that pink lotion, you'd have to spray it on your body or put it on your body. You'd be coated in Pepto-Bismol pink to not itch. I just oh. sat in a cold bathtub for two days. Basically. Those were the days, my friend. These days, somebody gives you a shot and you don't have chicken pox. What kind of life is that? You need to suffer <laughs> like we did. Exactly. But I, I don't think the vaccine's good. It can't be good. It can't be good. So are we going to, what are we doing? We're going to do categories? Uh, about yeah. Let, well, I mean, we're going to see if uh, anybody who's, oh, the chat's moving pretty fast. Um, <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> We've covered it. It's like, <laughs> like, no, normal kids don't play with Ouija boards. Yes, <laughs> no they did. Sleepovers. They wouldn't. I wouldn't now, but back then we didn't know. It was a, it was I mean, sold were, with board games in a, 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 a children's, you know, store. You know, you were rattling off pretty much half the script from the craft. Oh gosh, never seen that. Is it a good movie? Yeah, it's a good movie. It's now, about girls that, that ended up becoming witches. Oh, wow. Um, Nicole Cote said she got chicken pox before the vaccine and again after the vaccine. That's weird. That's not good. I didn't um, know you could get it twice. There's a channel called Experimental Vaccines who just joined us and says vaccines are evil. <laughs> Has Experimental Vaccines been just waiting around for this, uh, per, this time to pop in and say that? Um, let's see. Flat Magic is saying, say no to vaccines. Uh, Arwen says that he got chicken pox on vacation. Yeah, that would be no good. Michael of Wake the Sheeple is here, who said, I burned one when I was young and went back into the house and the board was setting back on my bed. Seriously. Burned one what? A Ouija board? Oh, wow. Wow. He burned a Ouija board. And the board was back on his bed. Unless your mom felt bad for you and got you a new one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, poor Michael. Oh, he burned his Ouija Let's board. Let's get him a new <laughs> one. <laughs> or it was an evil mom that got him a new one. <laughs> so, and he walks in and the, the soundtrack to his life goes, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and there's the Ouija board on the bed. Yep. What else? Flat Magic said, OMG, the mirror Bloody Mary. I haven't heard that in forever. Yeah. yeah, those are old school. Those are time tested things that'll never come again. Kids Here's somebody, do not do it anymore. No, no, no. Here's somebody trolling me who's saying, Not everyone played that game, Patricia Steer. Even some children had a fear of God. This had nothing to do with a fear of God. These were things all children pretty much did in the 70s. Uh, girls oh, yeah. It was who went to church, girls who, you know, whatever. I mean, this was just. Stuff you do at slumber it parties. A, it was a rite of passage. Lots of evil. Well, yeah, because remember, it was the 70s. Not a lot of energy. You had to make your own trouble. Yeah, you couldn't Basically. even go. You know, if you turned on the TV, there was not. There was only a couple of channels. Three. And no remote control. <laughs> three, there was three no, channels. ABC, NBC, no DVD, CBS, when and When I was PBS. growing up. You know? A total of four channels. And people don't understand. If you're not old enough, television turned off at night. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And they would put the uh, Star Spangled Banner on. <laughs> yeah, you do the national anthem at the end, and it would go static, and you would just yep. hear see a static screen literally from about midnight or one all the way up until like six a.m. or seven a.m. How many people have uh, awakened to hear their father in the other room snoring, and you could hear the static, or you could hear and the rockets red black glare oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, i mean let's put it this way the movie poltergeist would have never happened without it yeah remember right. that's the opening of poltergeist where the, the 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 screen goes static and the ghosts come out of the static and that I, was and that was that was 1982 or three we were still shutting off stations in the 80s yeah. well i mean my dad owned a radio station and it had to shut off it was an am it had to shut off at midnight so yeah. part of that whole thing I mean, and that was 
it was up into the early eighties when that was. You made. have no idea kid, that what, it was that Louis Anderson line where he was he was trying to tell people how good we had it better than or how much better they had it than us. It's like, what am I going to tell my kids? It's like I didn't have cable till till I was twelve. You know, yeah. that was that was the line. I mean, I remember when MTV came out. How right. what a glorious day that was! Of course, we were being programmed, but we didn't know that was. Oh, I MTV remember was seeing MTV's first moments. I, I oh, mean, yeah. it it was revolutionary. It was amazing. It was everything. Well, it it was the first time that that kids were actually other than Saturday morning cartoons that kids were glued to the set. Yeah, and you older know, you, kids too. I mean, I was not young; I was older. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you'd watch, you could watch videos all day. It didn't shut yeah. down. It and it was so on. good to see the performers who you you know you might have seen in a magazine, right. uh, or you might have seen in a live concert, um, or some of those uh, late night Saturday night. Uh, shows when somebody would perform. I can't right. remember the names of those shows. You know the ones? Yeah. Um, I forgot the names of the, there were two famous ones that were late night TV shows where they had live concerts. Anyway, what somebody will say it in chat. But MTV was so amazing to go and see your favorite artists performing, uh, not not performing, but their videos, the idea of videos, right. you know, how horrible some of them were and pretty good. And the, the artists, but it changed the game because the artists that knew the power of the video flourished. And the ones that didn't, that's mm -hmm. like, pff, it's just a fad. They died. I mean, a perfect example, not to go off on a tangent, would it be Journey. Journey completely got away from the videos and said, eh, we don't need them. Where are they now? Journey's gone. This is interesting. Mister is saying something. I remember that. Uh, do you remember when remote controls clicked instead of having push buttons? Oh, yeah. Don Kirshner, so that's it. Travis Bickle scores again with... He had Olestra. Well, I know you had Olestra, but he, yep, Don Kirshner's. Remember that show? Don Kirshner's Rock Concert or something? That was one of those late mm, night shows. We didn't shows. have it up here. Yeah, 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 you might. Oh, yeah, you might have. Um, MTV Music Video. They, uh, Arwen is saying it was like YouTube videos of their time. Um, music Television, of course, then went into doing, I uh, uh, guess, like, they stopped well, they, doing music, really. Well, yeah, they, they fractured for a while. They'd start doing specialized, like uh, Headbangers Ball, MTV Raps. I'm sorry, Yo! MTV Raps. <laughs> and then they started going into reality shows. And that's when it changed, when they figured they could make more money in advertising from doing the Real World series. And they did. They changed, they changed reality television as we know it. They, I wanted to be a VJ so bad when MTV came out. The old school VJs? Yes. The first two generations were great. Then they turned really to crap. Yeah. You know, it ended ended really with the 90s. But uh, Jen L remembers the very first song played on MTV. And I know you know too. I know I know. Yes, Video Killed the Radio Star. By the, by the Buggles. Oh, the Buggles. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Yep. It was, they were one-hit wonder. Yeah, pretty mistaken. much. Which, by yeah. the way, that title was lost on the tom hanks movie that thing you do the band was called the wonders and nobody got it i'm watching this like go oh, don't you get it it's funny it's funny because they had one big hit get it it's the wonders with one big hit the one hit wonders oh, oh i get it wonders uh, do you remember the mtv show called remote control oh my god please don't insult me <laughs> that's, that's embarrassing to even Colin bring that. Bring of course, it, uh, J Jenny McCarthy's launching pad. Kari Wurr or something was on there too. Kari Wurr. Uh, uh, but yeah, it was Jenny McCarthy. I mean, literally Jenny made Jenny McCarthy famous. And she deserved it. She's a, she's a freaking firecracker mm -hmm. on that show. She tortured people. She was, more, she was more dynamic than the host. She was like uh, um, Cato to the Green Hornet. <laughs> uh, good Times for All has said... Showtime at the Apollo, another one of those. Shows. Right. And that lasted much longer than uh, Don Kirshner's rock concert, I think is what it was called. Hey, by the way, did I show you my mailbag thing? Is I this got? a flyer show? What are you guys talking about? No, Movies, I got my flyer thing. Music? So I got this from Zulu One. <laughs> oh, it was cool. Of Zulu One. And okay, so on the front, and so Zulu is part of a fire department, right? So right. You'll, you'll kind of get these, and I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, so it's got a fire department logo on it. And he picked the number 33. Of course. We're not even firm. And then it's got a... Looks like a uh, space compass. 
like a like a sextant and a telescope. Sextant on one side, a telescope on the Let other side. Again. And then you see the the initials, Flat Earth Fire Department. Hold so it up a little F higher. I couldn't see before. F F E F D. Oh. Flat Earth Fire Department. That's very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. And best parts on the back. Ready? Yes. You have to talk. Keep, oh, sorry. Keep back eight inches per mile squared. That's genius, Zulu One. Yes. I, I thought that was really, really cool. So thank you to all who were involved. I know the peanut gallery's daughter was involved on this. Uh, she was the one that, and, and Zulu One had the inspiration. So it's very great. cool. I'm going to wear it at least a couple times before I give it away at a mixer, probably. So it'll be nice and sweaty. But, well, no, I'll wash it. Come on. <laughs> Seriously, it's worth more if you. It's like, it. oh, it smells like Mark. Seriously, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And um, then they don't wash it, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like a like really like a rock concert shirt. Ugh. Um, Joy four one one eight says music died around nineteen ninety. Yeah. You know, gotta say, pretty true. <laughs> Wake the sheep, of Michael saying Max Headroom. Yeah, Max Headroom. Oh, yeah. oh dude, serious. I'm actually actually one of my uh the one of the trailers, one of the promos I'm doing for the conference is going to be Mac, the Max Headroom Paranomia. You remember he he did a joint venture with for one song with Art of Noise. Oh, I remember that. Oh wow, yes. Yeah, and so I've got the video for that and I've I've turned it into a conference trailer. Let's see. This I is want to tang, say hi to, by the way. What tang? Oh, really? Get it? Because it's astronaut food. But tang is so yellow. I thought it was orange. Well, I, I mixed it with I mixed it with some lemonade. I was gonna say I thought you said alcohol. <laughs> and actually, it looks more yellow on this than it does. It actually in person. looks like urine. So be careful. No, it's no, it's <laughs> no, it's part lemonade and part tang. Yeah, yeah, and part. Question. Um, bathtub <laughs> meth. Uh, uh, Fluffy Toke says Mr. Bungle was dope. Gave rise to early incubus before they sold out. So uh, Arwen is saying I used to listen to the Chill Out Zone a long time ago because I had some jungle drum and bass on in, in the nineties. Uh, I did say hello to Frank Bocchio, and uh, uh, Ace McLeod is telling us all to be sure to watch ODD and Critical on ABC News full interview on their Facebook. Oh, is it out? Yeah, I guess so. Is it? I should look that up. BCC I, I is saying raw, wants I saw the raw footage. It. Now, people are saying that they want that shirt that you've got. Is there uh Oh, yeah, yeah, one? yeah. Go to um the uh, content. Oh, crap. You know what? If you guys want that shirt, I'll tell you who to email. One second. Well, you know, you, you could just give away the shirt that you showed us. My hair's getting in my face. Well, no, no, no. No, the reason no, is because you do No, I'm going to keep that shirt for the mix. No, because you're drinking Tang. It's got, you know, all sorts of horrible corn syrup in it, GMO. You just, you're not going to make it to the conference at this rate, Mark. You talk, No, no, it's Tang. I think it's just sugar. I don't it's think it's actually food. corn syrup. <laughs> Which means what, really? I, I don't, I don't know. I'm getting a little dizzy, though. Um, <laughs> Patricia, is that you? you? Feel like you're in orbit. <laughs> You'll be I know the voice, one. Patricia. Okay, so no, the the email. Hang on, it is. Oh crap! One sec. Is that a Russian version of "Oh crap"? You just said. Oh crap! Um, um hey to high fruity you and uh, flat Earth freedom with Je prefer flats. Uh, I've got it. Okay, okay, okay. So. If you got, you know what, I'm going to send you the website. All right. All right. Second. Please do. You know, I'm uh, stalling, sorry. putting off stabbing myself and drawing blood, just so you know. I thought you were going to, like, just take a cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how long I've had this in my drawer waiting? Nah, it's not oh. that bad. I mean, in your case, you're probably not going to bleed anyway, and then it's going to get all weird. You're going to have to kill the screen. <laughs> um, I'll have to put in some CGI blood. Yeah. Yeah. But seriously, it, it, you may have to do it. All right. So if I go to, I'll, I'll we have out a guy named Jim Giraffe in our live chat. He was there and then he left, but not of his own accord. If you know what I'm saying. You know what you're saying. Yeah. Sort of. 
Um, all right. The uh, okay. Deborah Newton is saying, "Donate blood to get your blood type." You know, I could have easily. Gosh, this is uh, ah. Lip gloss, longer hair, not happening. Don't do it. Don't do it, ladies. It, you, your hair sticks to your mouth. Not good. Um, maybe I can use the pieces of the mustache sticker that I was using at the start of the show. Please, feel free so, to look again to hold my hair back. So if you want the shirts, uh, I'm trying to figure out you because if you want that specific shirt, you're gonna have to ask. You're gonna have to request it. Request it through, and I think there's a contact. And yeah, 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 yeah. Go to uh, Curiosities Designs at Etsy.com and just ask for it. Say I want the I want the Mark Sargent Fire Department shirt. So Curiosities Designs. Yeah, Curiosities Designs. All right. And that's at Etsy.com shop. Okay. And if you still can't find it for whatever reason, just email me and I will I will send you the info if you want that shirt. It's a cool shirt, honestly. That's a that's a slick little well, sure. I wouldn't necessarily. You don't necessarily have to have my name on it, the sergeant thing. I'm sure you get with a. I think name. that'd be cool, because don't people like uh, t-shirts with professional football players? Oh, good lord! Seriously, yeah. So collect, you'd be like a professional flat earth. Collect all the flat earth all stars. <laughs> oh god, that would be sad. Because yeah, and I'm and I'm sorry. I apologize. I know there's some videos out coming already, and you've probably seen a few of them, uh, because of last night's show on Strange World. Because mm -hmm. people were mentioning the whole Denver Post, uh, father of flat earth yes. comment. People are trying to make that stick. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of that. So I, I'm sorry for those people that, that have been jumping on me for it. I did not. This That is not what I told the Denver Post. Did not tell them I was the father of flat earth. I did not invent flat earth. Flat earth was hundreds and hundreds of years before me. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate it. Appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, I'm not going to take credit for it. So. Your flat earth OG. <laughs> there you go. F-E-O-G. <laughs> Fiog. Fiog. <laughs> um, Eric Childs is saying, I very much enjoyed watching your hair grow, Patricia. Kind of lets me know how long I've been in Flat Earth. Which is kind of funny. True. From the beginning of videos. And when people used to say I was wearing a wig because I had bangs. I'm, I was thinking about growing, cutting bangs again. Maybe. Who cares, well, right? Good if you want it. Honestly, I, for me, and I'll say this on air with you, I would just do whatever... When it comes down to the producers, whatever they want you to do. Producers? Yeah, if it comes if it comes to that. You producers know, they, are going to care say, what I look like? Why? Well, no, no. I'm just saying, they're saying, we see you in a sort of, when they start That's doing That's not going to happen. That stuff's then, not happening. Then, then, you know. Look at this. They, I'm opening up my Eldon card 2511 kit from Amazon. I'm not being sponsored. This right. is listed in the, it's like seven boxes listed in the, my description box. It comes with a little sucky device. Can, can someone come over here and do this and I'll just hold my hand out and you stab me? I don't want to purposely hurt myself. It's not. Well, what's what's the device they use to do it? Is it like a pressure? It looks uh, like this. Is that it? Let me oh, see. Oh, I can hear something in there like metal. Well, let's see. Usually it's just You're a little. It's like, it's like a tack. It's like it's a resistance tack is what they use where you press down on it and so then it's it in here gives. already. All right, so you what? Push the green part onto your finger. I'll read the ins. Yeah, I'll read. The oh, I know what it's like. It's 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 using the same mechanism as one of those glass breakers for your car, which you've never, probably never spring loaded. No, no. And it has some kind of sticker, too. Okay, am I going to bleed that much? I need to wrap myself up. No. No. Elder, hey, this was your idea. I know, but I think it's interesting. What does it do? The Eldon Home Kit. That's what it says here on the destructions. What does it do? <laughs> okay. It's a self-test kit to determine your blood type inside the A, B, O negative, and Reese's negative D systems. Right. One test per card. Blah, blah, blah. But how do you do it? What does this not even tell you how? I mean, we know we stab ourselves. That's how. Oh, step one, cut open the envelope and write your name. We'll do that later. Fill a glass with water, suck a small amount of water into the pipettes, and release one drop onto each of the colored reagent spots on the Eldon card without touching the reagent in the rings. I could easily mess this up, by the way. 
Take uh, the lancet, no. twist the colored cap. Oh, this is the lancet. And pull off the straight and pull it off straight forward. Take the lancet, twist the colored cap. This is how I am when I'm by myself, whispering the instructions to myself. Oh, it did work. Okay. And pull it off straight forward and use the cleansy swab to disinfect the place where you will do the prick. Well, where's the pokey thing? This is the most boring show ever, right? No, no, it's fine. You've, you've seen worse? <laughs> All right. Okay, so I guess this, this is the cap and this is the pokey thing. And okay, so you need to do something else while I get the pipette and put some water on the little card. Seriously? And then we'll do the live poking. All right. Here on the show. Uh, Sorry, I didn't case, prep you for this. I will start asking people for categories for the video award show. And not, not necessarily nominees. I mean, you can nominate people. That's fine. And I'll start typing. Okay, so, but how are we going to do it without me reading the live chat? Or are you? Can you? Read no, no, I'll, I'll, I've got live chat. I've, 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 right. It's one of the rare times I'm actually using it. I need a personal assistant. Would anybody like to apply for this job? Okay, so while Patricia's pretend or getting ready to bleed herself in a ritual fashion, which may <laughs> or may not be used for witchcraft later, Stop. I am going to <laughs> what? She's got red hair. She might, it, she might as well be. Don't witches have black hair and like green skin and warts on their chin? Yeah, and the devil is red, scaly, has a bifurcated tail, and carries a hay fork. Uh, yeah. And yet, mm. I don't think he does. So, yeah. all right. So, let's see. I'm now. not Wiccan. I'm not a witch. I'm not. No, as a far man. not. People don't say that about you, as far as you know. Okay, <laughs> guys, anyone in the chat room? I am watching the chat room. Give me categories for videos at the video award show. We need we and music ones are okay. Like like for example, best music video, uh, best you know. Should we break it down into categories like uh, best um, best country song, best overall song? Give me give me stuff. Best yes, I know. I said best music video. <laughs> all right, all right. Best best music video. All right, I'm watching the chat here. Mm -hmm. Best flat Earth proof experiment. Excellent. Hang on, and and you might have to say it. FE proof experiment. Sorry that my typing is so loud. You're typing All right, what else you got? All right, I'm going to get water in my first degree pipette. sexual assault award. That's awesome. Somebody wrench him. <laughs> <laughs> so, is, I mean, that's pretty I'm not funny. At OD best, defense, just, best, but it okay, was funny. Best, he'd, he'd laugh too. Okay, so best experiment, Dan Dimension. All right. This best is going to be the best experiment right now, as soon as we get experiment it. Experiment Dan Dimension. Best new discovery. Oh, I like that. Hang on. Best discovery. And I'm just, we're just brainstorming here. Best debunked globe science. Okay. Debunked globe science. Globe science. What else you got? High altitude balloon launch, uh, best music videos with bikini chicks. That's not a rap video. <laughs> Pretty specific. Okay. Uh, best one minute video. Ooh, I like that. One minute video. Well, we probably changed it to like best video under a certain amount. Best globe troll award. You know what? What about best video? <laughs> we, was, best we video where somebody cries. I've seen a couple what? videos where people cry. I'm not saying that's a real suggestion, but I'm making oh, okay. a funny one. Oh, comedy. Uh, best comedy. But I've seen videos where people are crying. They're that's so overcome. Best, with best interview. Best interview. Uh, funniest. Yeah, yeah. Funniest video ever. Best monologue. <laughs> best F.E. monologue. Okay. Could be something from the Morgal. Yeah, and that, that's funny because the guy actually said that. <laughs> really? <laughs> I did. I'm, I'm exactly reading my instructions, said. by the way, and um, getting my water. And Best 10-hour video. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, that's not bad because we can say videos over a certain length on top of best shill expose. Mm, I don't know if we're going to be getting that one, but I'm going to type it in anyway. Uh, be best the best Flatter shill expose. Flat Earth original song. Yeah, best F.E. original song. Yep. Uh, best dramatic, best dramatic scene. <laughs> 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 Let's 
See, this is why the, the hive mind is always better than the individual best street oh. interview. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's going to be so tough. Best F.E. rant. Okay. Best wow. video series. Good, good, good. Best, best video series fail. <laughs> uh, <laughs> best, best NASA fluke. That's a uh, fluke, and we'll we'll review these uh, towards the end of the show. Bet uh, most awkward fe moment. Is it going to be this one? Yeah. Oh wait, I've been involved in one of those most awkward fe moments. I think I'll nominate myself. Most words spoken in one breath. Best fe background. Ooh, yours is pretty awesome. Oh, I don't know about that. Mine's just a banner. Best I am Mark Sargent. No, you can't. That's not a thing. <laughs> it's not a thing. Uh, best newcomer. Oh yeah. See, yeah, yeah. See, life imitate art imitates other art. Best newcomer. Uh, best Patricia outfit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best globe versus flat Earth discussion. Yeah. Uh, globe versus fe discussion. Best drunk moments. <laughs> Actually, there's quite a few of those. Wait, best what? And, and they're not ours. Best what? The best drunk moments. Best be be best biblical. Biblical. Well, we had some FD. semi drunk moments, kind of. Not really. We were in control. You know, best a Bitcoin greed award. Will somebody wrench that guy? Seriously. What's he saying? Get, get, Jim Pratt. get him. Best bid Bitcoin what? Greed award. Oh my God. I know, right? Best license plate. Ooh. You know uh, let's see here. Best mind opening FE video. Yeah. Mind opening FE video. Oh boy, really we're into the sports thing, most valuable F year. <laughs> wow, that's impossible. Best version of reality. Oh. Fat seriously. All right. People are really so if somebody really doesn't get that gym guy in the next go round, I'm gonna have to get him, which means I'm gonna have to type less. Uh worst Glober debunk. Okay. One sec. Worst Glober debunk. One of those hottest FE chick. It's a globe. You're an idiot. That that no, might win. We could do hottest FE chick. That'd be like a viewer's choice award. Uh, we can't, see, we most, can't reduce our flat Earth women to pieces of meat. Most most views actually but might. We can do surprising. hottest FE man. <laughs> uh, let's see the, the, the viewer's choice award. Yeah, viewer's choice award. Sure, viewer's choice award. Award. Sorry, I'm just typing as fast as I can here, guys. Uh, best ISS fail. It's good. Best FE clue. Mm. It's telling me to wash oh, my hands in hot water. I'll be back. This what are you? Annoying. Oh, you're killing me. Best parody video. All this because Patricia is having a hard time trying to figure out what alien blood type she actually has. <laughs> Patricia, okay, angriest glober. Ooh, yeah, best best uh, globalist rant. That's good, like that. Hottest fe women, <laughs> Martin. I don't know if that's a category. Best fe boy toy. Arwen, you killing me? Um, what else you got? Uh, L -L -L, angriest glober. Well, yeah, no, there's probably I, there's probably some great rants out there. Best bubble vid. Is that, is that like a dome? Best dome vid? I don't know, maybe. Best first YouTuber. I got that one. Uh, Father Flat Earth Award. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. You can thank the Denver Post for that one. I think it's still a bit early. You never know what CNN's going to say. Least watched. What? <laughs> the least watched Flat Earth Christian channel. <laughs> Do you want to win it? <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Zulu says, love your, your his lizard people. The parody videos are great. Least bigoted <laughs> flat earther. Best NASA hoax. You spelled hoax wrong. Oh my God, you're killing me. Best FE chat room. Ooh. Best FE chat room. That's actually, that's actually not bad. What about greatest rant, a greatest anti FE shill. Uh, we best got one flat earth cat. Best FE cat. Yep, that just came up. <laughs> It's uh, best globe lies. Uh, the the flattest woman in the world is my ex-wife. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Best flatty flatter is photography. Ooh, yeah, like that. Hang on. Fe okay. photography. They were sanitizing my finger to protect 
I don't know. Myself. So you're, you're actually going to go through this thing. All right. Sorry, guys. I have to look. Uh, Best Tiger Dan Award. You mean, well, we don't have enough people who have disappeared to give him a Tiger Dan Award. Although well, Tiger Dan may We'd like to disappear, and we could call it the Tiger Dan Award. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. Tiger Dan Awards. <laughs> And then the, the extreme version known as the Lee Bracker Award. Poor Lee. Too, too soon? Too soon? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, best Not flat nice. horizon. That doesn't, that doesn't mean we don't have to, we should be, we should not be nice to him. The best debunked flat earth video? I did, how are we even going to create a category for that? Best mainstream flatter source? Uh, maybe. It's a little early, and that may change by the time we get there, but we'll think about that. Longest ranter on Globebusters? <laughs> 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 uh, you know what? I'm going to put that in there, even if though it's a repeat. What about um, people who turned? You know, turned like they were one way, and then they turned another way? I don't know what you'd call that. Mm, maybe. Mystery Disappearance Award. Oh, I yeah. thought you just dismissed what I said. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I'm serious. Go ahead and cut your finger off. Yeah. yeah. The um, best balloon live cam. Yeah, sure. That's balloon footage. All right. Best flat earth meetup video. Yeah. That's good. Uh, best, best flat earth mixer. And what we're doing with this list is we're going to be running this by. This is too hard to do on the air. It involves what? many. Well, tell me what you're doing. Take take a break for one second here. All right, guys. Um, so we have this card here. You put water on in those circles, which you can barely see because of the lights. Right. You've got to pick your finger. Fine. Squeeze your finger, and then use these little dabby things and dab the blood into each of those circles. But it's very like stir and ask a friend and repeat the procedure. I'll do it anyway. It's gonna come out with the, my, I don't have a blood type known to man though. What are you gonna try? I, do you not wanna do it live? I do, but it's, it's, I thought you just prick it and go. All right, let's just say you're gonna do it live, but we're, we'll wait till you're after the I'll show. I'll try in a minute. Keep talking. All right, all right, so keep going guys. Best curvert. Yeah, is that like a globe tard? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Most views, we got that one. Uh, oh, what were, if you guys were just new to this right now, uh, we're, we're looking for categories for the video award show. And why, Kadar, you're not banned if you're actually typing it and, and you can see it. That means you're not banned, just so you it's know. Like, why am I banned in the live chat? Yeah, he actually says, am I banned? It's like, <laughs> if you can see the words, you're not, not banned. Not yet. If you have to ask that, the answer's not yet. Your advice will walk up to somebody. It's like, can you see me right now? <laughs> and, then, and then, yeah, as soon as I say that, somebody says, we can't even see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> nice. It's like, hey, you know what? Hugs, not drugs. Uh, favorite singer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm working on the, the music things. Okay, think of think of a few different music categories, like um, uh, because we want to give out more than one music award, not just one best song. Because there's there's some great songs out there. So uh, like, it would it would best rap song? There's a lot of rap videos for Flat Earth out there. Would that be a good one? Like uh, best best knob in Flat Earth? Is that a sexual reference, Martin? I don't even know. Best, yeah, I'm gonna okay, try. I'm gonna say I, I might not be able to pick my own finger, believe it or not. Here we go. All right. All right. I'm not a baby. I'm a very this? strong, confident woman who handles everything that I need to handle in my life. You want me to count you down? Uh, Three, two, one. Did you press hard enough? No. Three. You got you to jam it in there. You ready? Uh, we have blood. All right. The question is, when you squeeze it, is there more blood? I guess. That hurt. What's well, supposed to hurt? It's a I know, but it test. hurt more than I thought. I think I was really, you know. Well, that's why that's why they when they do it, usually it's a resistance thing because people when they anticipate the pain, it's actually worse. You don't get you don't get nauseous that's or anything. Exactly right? what so. happened. These are called Elden sticks. Is that like a Middle Earth thing? It's just exactly the way that's the it's whole like, thing called an Elden stick. It's like, and look, more Lambus bread. Oh All my right. gosh, I know I you don't get that because you don't watch movies. All right, so best sock account name. Ooh, you know what? That's best a fantastic sock. suggestion. Best channel name. Okay, so best break music. Best break music. What about best break up? 
Yes. Yeah. No, we've already got two different things for drama right now. Yeah, that's not. Uh, that's a joke. This is a cover for a satanic blood ritual. <laughs> <laughs> Bow down, lowly dog. <laughs> okay, I've got one of the four done, and the blood is continuing to come. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, hang on. This is where I cue the. <laughs> <laughs> I will be blown. Wait, I'm showing my chest. I don't want to show. Don't look. A really little late for that. Well, you know. We can already see it. That's not my thing. Okay, wait. I don't want it. All right. Well, we... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> While we gaze at longingly at Patricia's breasts... Or repulsively, depending upon... Where... Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm missing some things. Best new evidence. Ooh, yeah. That's Hang a on. good Best one. new evidence. The second new evidence and I'll, I'll we'll recap these later best fe studio Ooh, <laughs> yeah actually that's funny best fe studio you know what and following that worst fe studio <laughs> just some couch in a corner with like pizza boxes all over i think tiger dan would actually probably still win that <laughs> because remember he was broadcasting apparently from a, a gulag prison interrogation room exactly and and what we see on the interview uh episode 13 on my channel is what i did to help what he looked like because prior to we us going live it was completely dimly lit he looked like he was in literally in like a central lockdown or what do you call it solitary confinement right by the way you can't do best dress you can't use high school awards yes i know patricia would win that no you can't you can't do that uh, let's see here. Best FE leak by the elite in plain sight. Mm. Please don't stop. Please don't stop. Are we talking about the blood or the other stuff? Longingly. <laughs> <laughs> she caught that. The uh, best best nuts.com shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> That's an insider joke for sure. Who is that D I T R H in our No, it wasn't D I T R H, which Who is said that? best F E organizer. Yeah, you know what? That's good. Who said that, by the way? Well, I have to prick my finger again. The, the well ran dry. The fact that you couldn't get enough blood from one finger. I think well, I think it dried finger. because I was, you know, because I was. You know who doesn't bleed a lot? Vampires. Hence not. the thumbnail. If you guys got that, there's a reason why I built Doing that thumbnail. And you know who else doesn't? Vampire alien robots. <sighs> who don't states. like pain. Look at me when you do it. <laughs> and I don't mean that in some weird psycho way. <laughs> right. You mean to distract. Exactly. I'm not saying you gotta look in my eyes. Look at my eyes while you cause yourself pain. Put the lotion on the skin. <laughs> Put the lotion on the skin. Uh, or it gets the blood test again. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Nicole Cote. <laughs> Sorry, I'm missing more. some of this. Uh, my idea is very important. Wait, my idea is very important. I insist. Type it again. I had turned to dust before it hit the paper. <laughs> That's a vampire <laughs> joke. That's awesome. Milk it, they say. Best Effie presenter, blood. Yes, she's doing a blood test. She's doing an RH blood test right now, which is a thinly veiled disguise for an ancient ritual that hasn't been performed in a thousand <laughs> years. <laughs> okay, so I'm only able to get enough blood out of, like, I'm just going to go and get a sewing needle. Forget this thing. It won't give. It won't poke me a second time. It's a one poke. It. That's because one finger should be able to do it, but apparently it just dried up. I clotted. Uh, it's not dried up. There's no blood there. No, there it's is. Like we your circulatory we system. See. No, yeah. we can see. Well, there's blood. It just dried up. It's a stupid test. <laughs> I just need to go do it. Blood. Right, so you get a sewing needle. Yeah, I'll be back. I put it under a match. You notice, by the way, that her eyes got a little dilated while she was doing that. I think the whole the needle thing excites her in a in a little way. Okay, so worst blood test on air. Absolutely right, Dave. Thank you. It was. It was absolutely. It was absolutely terrible. Okay, so we're still we still got categories. Do you guys want me to review the categories so far? Let's do that. Best flat Earth book. Oh yeah. Okay. That's, oh well, no no you can't do Flatter's book it's a video award show <laughs> can't, it's not a book award show it's nice though huh is it red yes it was red blood from what I can tell although it was below camera could have been blue could have been green I, I it's hard to say it's a safety needle 
Bad Mark, bad. No, okay. I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to read the uh, uh, the categories we have so far. Ready, guys? So Not while Patricia, I did it. You did it. Blood. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now back to. I'm, I I only have two more little circles to put more blood in. And all right. So while you guys, so you guys are going to be distracted while she's uh, putting more blood on. I better be thing. Rh negative after this. <laughs> All I know is if you don't hurry up and complete the ritual in the allotted time, the, the whole spell is wasted. Okay, here we go. So best FE proof experiment. Best experiment uh, nominated. By the way, you can you can nominate people as well. Uh, Dan Dimension, best discovery, best debunked globe science, best uh, video under a certain amount of time. We haven't determined that yet. Best globe troll award. We'll see about that. I like that one. The Although it's giving people attention that... Right. Best... Oh, you know, we could, well, we could do a lifetime ban. If you get the, the Globe Troll Award, you're, you get a lifetime ban from something. Uh, or, or kill on site wrench. That's basically what happens. You get turned over to the wrench squad. Uh, best comedy FE, best interview, best uh, FE monologue, best 10-hour video. That's not a 10-hour video, but best video over a certain length. Best shill expose, best FE original song. Best Dramatic Scene, Best Street Interview, Best F.E. Rant, Best Video Series, Best NASA Fluke, Most Awkward Flat Earth Moment, Best Flat Earth Background, Best Newcomer, Globe versus F.E. Discussion. I'm just gonna not going to say best in front of these guys. Drunk Moments, Biblical Flat Earth Video, License Plates, Opening Flat Earth Video, Most Valuable Flat Earth, Worst Globe or Debunk, Most Views, Viewer Choice Award, ISS Fail, F.E. Clue, Parody video, globalist rant, dome vid, flat earth chat room, best channel name, new evidence, best FE studio, worst FE studio, and best FE organizer. All right. In addition to those, what else can you think about chat room while we're doing this? Best baller gone flatty. Sure. Why not? See so if we can get a high profile baller. So, um, Baller gone flat. Okay. What else you got? This is this is never gonna work. Now it's saying you must tilt it at a 40 degree angle. Carefully inspect the times prescribed for tilting four times ten seconds. I think if you ever get one of these Elden cards, you need to have a friend with you to help you. You can't do it by yourself. Well, I'm not I'm not distracting you. I know, I know, but I mean you need someone with you like in the same room. Cause it looks like some did better than others. And I think what I'm gonna do is Best science slam. I'm gonna go donate blood. <laughs> Look at my poor finger. <laughs> donate, what are you gonna donate blood and, and then have them and do it? Have them tell me right there because I'll be helping society and I don't think this will show anything because I, I think it's just I didn't do everything within the prescribed period of time because I couldn't prick my finger and da da da. So blood draw fail. Do you know, get this kit, do it yourself, but have a friend help you so that you, two people can work on this. One person plus doing a show, not going to happen. Or you have a heartbeat over 30. Shut up. <laughs> what? I'm just saying. No, no. You I can't mean, get no, out I blood think... out of one finger. No, I did, but it just, you know, it's hard to do. And the instructions are very specific. It's not just prick and then put your blood on those three circles. There's a little That's water, no there's water. tilting. Anyway, whatever. I got best promo and I am listening to you. So, yeah. Scurvy. All right. The Elden Home Kit 2511 is really cool, but it just doesn't work when you're doing a show at the same time. I will have to do the blood draw at, a, at like a blood mobile and find out my blood type. Yep. Trisha tried, but she couldn't get everything on the card. Actually, that does sound a little more advanced. Like, and it also I did like a... built the card after each one at four times at a 40 degree angle. And I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, the, like the blood seen... dried up. I had to leave, and so whatever. Okay, so fail. <laughs> it's all right. No worries. <sighs> What's you going tried on in our live chat. <laughs> Arwen says assistance from a nurse would be nice. <laughs> oh, Chris Topher says funniest moment on Globusters. Hey, at least well, no, that's that's a little too specific. Uh, let's see, best Mandela effect. Mm, not bad. Not bad. What do you think the best Mandela effect is? Best P900 footage. 
I'm going to put that in there. How does um, everyone think about that? I don't know. I don't know if I believe in the Mandela effect, by the way. I, it, it's, it's very interesting. Interview the with a vampire would be perfect for me to say with this blood. Um, don't bleed out. No, I'm just lucky that she doesn't get squeamish and, you know, all of a sudden poked her finger. And then I'll, it's like, Mark, clunk. You know, Ukdina just said she won't donate blood. Maybe donating blood is bad. Ukdina, tell us why. Arwen is saying it's a vampire mid scheme. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And good times for all sums up why I failed with this very good test. He says, always read all directions before starting something new. <laughs> oh my God. That, by the way, that's a great oh. t-shirt. You get a no. pyramid with some fangs in the middle of it. Vampyramid. That's a great t-shirt right there. Once this you get one, the rights. Uh, Chris and the Topher, subsidiary rights. Uh, Christopher says, bloody as flat earth chat. That would be this one. <laughs> nice. That's good. Oh, Diva Dante says, will not donate blood either. Huh? Um, C.W. Townsend says, I've used that same kit. And yes, a second person is very helpful. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, Dina is saying that the person scribe asked if the test proved pregnancy or not. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Uh, Je prefer flat says, have your doctor order a blood test. Yeah, that's pretty true. Dave Hinkle says, best fence sitter. It's like, eh, Ooh. I don't think there's that many of them. Mm, yeah, I mean, there's I mean, people. and how long, how long, you know, because they could get off the fence at the last minute and then it's like, oh, great. Like Rob Skiba was a fence sitter. Technically, he was clinging onto that fence for months. He didn't do it. Or he finally went. I'm sorry to say, not stopping until I, oh, Travis, Travis. Okay. Best F E meme. You know what? Perfect. That's a good one. Um, Vicky Alford is saying, no, don't donate blood. Please research it. Ukdina is saying, I'll not give my blood type either. Blood banks help out the blood drinkers. Wow. Interesting. Okay. All right. So I got, we got the, 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 um, the, yeah, ban that guy. There you go. Thank you, Ukdina. All right. So any other categories for the video awards other than the ones we've listed so far? Give me best stuff. Oof. <laughs> Very interesting, though. I think that finding out your blood type is pretty cool. Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting thing to know. And uh, Mojo Shop is saying they may be collecting DNA and testing your donated blood for pharmaceutical reasons. Weirdest. You know what? Nice. Uh, oh, best editing. Yes. It's quite possible. Quite possible. Yeah. Possible. Knowing your blood type is really important. That's why I thought I'd get this thing. I just wish I would have known. Again, I was in there. They, I, I signed a thing for transfusion. They had to have known my blood, and yet they uh, they never told me. Mm -hmm. of Crazy course, flat lady has said good wrenching. Yes, indeed. Uh, best Joe FE P opponent. Does that mean best globalist opponent or best FE debater? Jill Peters has a good suggestion. Best mod. Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Wow. Best moderator. And what we'll do, because we have plenty of time, is we'll ask for nominees after we get all the categories done. So once we get all the categories, then we will ask people for nominees. Jen L is saying truth in movies. You know, like how Russian Vid says that. Uh, Vampire Diaries show they drink from blood bags. Uh, there. <laughs> Don't get me started. I've watched just about every vampire movie you could well, ever so think of. So maybe this situation where it didn't work out for me is maybe the best thing ever. Best feel-good channel. Hmm. 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 I don't know. I don't know if I have a... I'm sorry. I am listening to you, by the way. Well, there's so many channels that when you, you want to, like, hug the person after they've after you've listened to their video. Best Globe Smasher. It's good. Mm -hmm. Most difficult globe proof to debunk. Mm. Uh, I don't know if that's a video award. Remember, well, this I mean, is a video you know, video award show. So here's one: <clears throat> uh, globe best one line globe killer. Like you said before, the Van Allen radiation belts, whether yeah, they the trap, exist the or not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's dangerous or not. Yeah, best yeah, best I mean, globe. All right, best best that guy actually said it. Best globe smasher. Yeah, best yeah. Globe killer. Paula Knowledge Scavenger saying best feel bad channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. Uh, let's see um, here. Riku Hoviesto says they're pat patenting your stem cells uh, when you donate. 
Um, oh. <laughs> Andres A says best microphone. <laughs> yeah, I know. Somebody also said weirdest microphone. Gee, I wonder who's going to get that. Odina is saying uh, to me, when I get back from the UK, we'll talk about blood stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's see here. Best delivery. Hmm, not bad. Best degrassed impersonator. Nobody's, well, no, it'd be that guy who was smoking, that guy that did the- That was uh, good. That was wasn't? really good, but he wasn't one of ours, unfortunately. Worst NASA live video. It's good. Best microphone, best proof. Uh, best stumper. Funniest NASA video. Ooh, funniest NASA video. I like what one would you think it was? I like the one where uh, Scott Kelly, or no, 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 Tim Peake does the somersault. Or no, when Mark Kelly, when they say, or Scott Kelly, uh, how, how can you prove you're in space? And then he does a somersault. Yeah. Just makes me want to punch him. <laughs> no. uh, best 24 hour live stream. Yep. Yeah. That's good. Best 24 hour live stream. Sleep no more. Funny Most goes. bubbles observed in a NASA video. There's some, you guys have some great stuff. Great stuff. Best sun and moon video. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Oh, I think Frank we... Martin says best sun and moon explanation. Hmm. Yeah, we go for that. Been taking pics is giving some good uh, suggestions. So is everyone actually. Best gravity proof says Arwin. <laughs> well, we know who would win that. Neil deGrasse Tyson dropping the mic. Uh, let's see here. Is, is that a Brian Regan voice? Oh, were you listening to me? I actually have I have heard Brian Regan a few times. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah the crayon guy. Hmm. Brian Regan is a, a, a comedian that would travel the circuits. I saw him in Denver a couple times. I haven't seen live comedy for a while. I don't think. Hmm. Um... Best V best versus video. Ooh. Yes, that's a good one. Oh, best versus video. Yeah. Uh, Martin Leakey's he's got best response video. And remember, try hard because every winner of every category gets a brand new car. <laughs> it's a matchbox car, but a new car nonetheless. Love the same. It's a brand new car. <laughs> oh, Perrin says the worst fake picture. Worst fake picture. Uh, let's see here. Favorite <laughs> Persian scribe is funny. Who says <laughs> best rocket landing on a barge? <laughs> <laughs> best sign off tagline. Uh, that's a dumb one because they're all they're all pretty good. Paula, knowledge scavenger, best insomnia curing delivery channel. Nice. Best special effects by a space agency. <laughs> The thing about Flat Earth is we all know this is the greatest deception that mankind's ever been under as far as we know. And it's evil what's been done to us. However, within this, as we seek truth, we do have fun together. And it's nice, actually. Yeah. Again, try, try to find what we're doing here in any other conspiracy thing, like JFK. Yeah, it's like, you know, best, best, uh, um, Lone gunman debunk, you know, it's <laughs> best like, magic bullet. <laughs> yeah, best magic bullet thing. It's like, really? Because they're all depressing. Mm. It's horrible. Best. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get into it. It's gross. Uh, let's see. Worst troll. I already got that one. Best worst. Best worst video goes to NASA. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. It's good. That's gooder English than not gooder. Best, most fake curvature in a NASA video. I mean, there's got to be something in which we can put the uh, uh, Red Bull Jump video in. Where there's, I'm sure. I'm isn't sure. a NASA thing specifically, but. Best Flat Earth Hollywood movie reference. Mm, yeah. You know what? I may, may do that. It would probably change between now and then. Best F.E. Hollywood. Ooh, I've got a good one from Frank Martin. Best P900 boat footage, unless that was already said while I was. Uh, I've got it in myself. there under best P900. By the way, I, I healed perfectly. It's like it never uh, happened. Yeah. It's like. I'm like, not even going to comment. Well, you know, in the original Star Trek TV series where Bones, the doctor, would have this little cylindrical thing that would make a noise like. And he would push it over the person's body like in a circle. You can actually buy those on eBay now. 
Oh yeah, and they would be healed. Well, somebody must. Did have you done that never see Blade Runner? Never saw it, did you? Yes, of course I've seen Blade Runner. Sean Young. Yes. Anyway, moving on. What other topics <laughs> we got here? We got uh, let's see, best F E cat. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> Timaeus, most damaged finger for flat Earth. <laughs> I win. No, I wouldn't win. You know who would win? The Morgyle. He was mowing his lawn and almost chopped his finger. He basically did chop his finger off the other day. But he's okay now. Best in person signage? Signage? I don't know what that uh, means. Best Maybe flatter next. talker? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best talker here? Oh, it's just the way. That, it's like the best, best, best guy talking. Best I think talker. Um, you make me happy. You know who really can? Well, there are some people who really can. Like, look, Robbie D of Celebrate Truth. He can. He didn't today when he was on at the beginning of the show because he had a barbecue he was doing, but he can uh, definitely carry a conversation very well. So can IPS. Uh, people who solo can just go and speak like that. Uh, Rob Skiba can do the very same thing. You can do yeah. the very same thing. Uh, let's see here. Best Flat Earth children's video. Sassy Undeniably says best hair and fake up artist goes to. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you know, because they had, they have the hair on the ISS. Best fake hair. You know? Oh, right. That's good. That's good. That's I'll, a good I'll channel. Like Check out Sassy Undeniably. Uh, let's see. Here. And, and isn't she tied to Flat Earth Teens? Yes. As well. And she interviewed Raven, I think is her name, yesterday. Yeah. Um, oh, my Good God, stuff. what a great interview. It so much gave me hope. She, Raven's so intelligent, so so pretty, and so that kind of pretty where it's a glow. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do know this, yeah. yeah. Best old footage that debunks globe, not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, how about Lifetime Achievement Award? We've only been doing this a couple of years. Can't <laughs> lifetime. lifetime Achievement Award yet. <laughs> 2015. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not true. There's some people who've been flat earthers longer. Oh, that is true. That is true. But in lifetime. Yeah. Martin uh, Leakey says they're making a Blade Runner 2 and Ridley Scott is doing it. Yeah, I know. And Harrison Ford's making a cameo. I know. Oh, I didn't know that. It's cool. But I mean, look, you waited. They waited too long. I mean, that's I like the 30. Classics. The first one was 30 something years ago. 35 years ago. Chris Topher says favorite astronaut to make fun of. Ooh. Well, Scott Kelly for me. Well, we're trying to make him somewhat positive. Well, wh who's the guy who plays the guitar? That guy. Oh. Um, He's annoying. Who's Who's the Canadian? I know they're real people. Chris Hatfield. But yeah, but they're still not real you know people. No, I know Chris Hatfield. Because he's good friends with one of the lead guys from the Trailer Park Boys. Okay, got it. Yeah. They're real people, but they're doing something real bad. So I guess it's okay to say something negative. Best Math Powerland song. Dot, dot. Are they even songs? <laughs> <laughs> Who says that? So, Daniel Reza. Oh, oh well, don't, pick, don't pick on Matt too much. Well, the thing is, is that he's doing, what do you call that? A jam, long time, long, jam sessions. So Yeah. Yeah. That's what they call them. Uh, let's see. Best Effie drop in a movie. Yep. Got that one. Best new mm -hmm. discovery. AJC 1844. We're going to do nominations next time. This, this is just categories, but thank you that. For that. Yeah, if you have somebody that you'd like to nominate for one of those categories or a category that you've come up with as uh, to just email it to Mark or myself at uh, msergeant23 at comcast.net or missteer at gmail.com. Person with the most redundant vids. You mean a guy that repeats himself, that's repetitive, that says the same thing over and over? <laughs> Including that? <laughs> I don't know. I nothing comes to mind. No idea. The nice hangout today. Uh, MI Girl sixty seven says the astronauts are real people who are fake. True. All right. Any other categories we may worst oh, ISS? Worst, yeah, graphic. that's a good one from Timaeus. Yep, it's good. Uh, anything else? Anything else? I think we we've tapped these guys out pretty close. First flat Earth video on YouTube. I don't know wh who is the first flat Earth video on YouTube. Well, technically, I mean, they say. I mean, what does it mean, flat Earth video? Where you've made a suggestion that the Earth. Might and be and flat? by the way, you can't go back and change the title of your video and then s say it's flat Earth a, sl a flat Earth video. I've seen a couple of people do that. Actually. Yeah, from years ago. Right. I mean, if Ooh. you want to go back to the to well, yeah. 
Here's, this is really good. Travis Bickle has been scoring and scoring hard in this live chat. Everyone has, but he says, Lifetime Deceivement Award. Hmm. Who would be the Lifetime Deceivement Award nominee? Bestnuts.com, shameless plug. Come on, Mark. <laughs> Who's I'm been ready. deceiving us the longest? I mean, is mean like an individual? deceiving us or is he unaware? Who? He believe it. Lifetime deceivement. Oh, it? I don't know because you don't know who's in on it. You just right. don't know. Sorry, you don't. Best live FE awakening video. Best live awakening video? Best father of flat earth. Thank you, Dina. Yeah, that would be you. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, that one. Yeah, if that turns into a t-shirt, I'm in trouble. I've been taking well, pictures. Well, we still have ideas. Just watch. Oh, I'm sure you do. GED is live. GED is live. This is a snore fest. Thank you, GED. Wait, isn't he an anti flat earther? Is GED pro? Yeah, yeah. And this guy, cognitive infiltration, is trolling. Right, right. It's fine. The, t- the type of trolling lifetime. like that, I mean, whatever. There was lifetime Deceivement Award. Rolf Walter Cronkite. You're assuming that he was actually in on that he knew what he was doing. Ooh, sassy, Remember, this is the guy that cried when JFK was shot. Oh, yeah. I used to love Walter Cronkite. He was like, he was a father figure to many who grew up in that time frame. Um, Sassy undeniably says best catchphrase. It's photoshopped because it has to be. I mean, come on. Uh, Dave Little says best video from a game design standpoint. <laughs> Most incongruent face to voice award. Is that like a NASA award? Oh, or an FDA I know award? exactly what you're talking about. People who, like when I started doing my channel, I always had my face on it. Okay. When you've only heard somebody and you've heard their videos because they didn't have their face on it, and then all of a sudden they do a video showing themselves and you say, right. oh my God, that's what they look like? Oh. Is, is there anybody that was like that to you? That, oh, that's what they look like? Jaren. That's what I've, some other people have said. Because one of the first sightings of Jaren, not the first, was when I interviewed him on my channel way back. A lot of people said that was the first time they'd ever seen Jaren and Missa. Yeah. What did yeah, you think well, Jaren would yeah, look like? But Jaren gets that a lot. He sounds like a nerd who should be running the audiovisual department at a high school. And in te- instead, he looks like a kind of fringe gangbanger out of Los Angeles. And he's tall. Yeah, he's tall. Really tall. 6'2". I don't know about the gangbanger part. but Oh, yeah. No, he's total thuggery. No. <laughs> you just... <laughs> you know whose voice and face are totally perfect match? D-I-T-R-H. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to touch that. No, I think so. I'm not going to touch it. In a good way. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right. All okay. right. Anything else that we have? Oh, I think we got a pretty good list of categories. Do we, um, uh, do we at this point kind of do our thing? And um, Crazy Flats lady says Jaron was more handsome than, uh, than she thought. That's what I think, too. The, uh, not that I thought Jaron was ugly from his voice, but... I pictured him, and then when I saw him, I'm like, oh, yeah, he has a very pleasing face. Danielle Reza says, Jaron looks like my homie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Randolph Kane says, Jaron sounds exactly like Eric from that 70s show. Jaron looks like the guy who got away and ended up bailing you out of jail out of uh, L.A. County. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what he reminds me of. Sorry, Elspeth if I had to put him in the movie, says, that'd be the guy. Elspeth Awake says, whenever I hear Jaren, I see Rob from the Tread Banger channel. Uh, Been Taken Pick says, best apology. Do we have something like that? Best apology? Somebody there are, apologized that many for something? There. Has somebody apologized for something? Oh, oh how about um, best uh, Flat Earth Awakening story? Not the, the right people haven't apologized for certain things. Well... Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> I know they're sorry. Best voice um, that sounds like a TV character naturally. Ooh. Ooh. Who? I don't know. I don't know either. Been taking picks is full of uh, Winners will receive a lifetime supply of rice <laughs> Uh Twitwit says uh, she was pleasantly surprised about what Jaron looked like because I'd only seen meme depicts of him. Actually, it's contestants, not uh, winners. Right, contestants. Fantastic. All right. How about this? Mark and FEA in the same video from 2008 ranting about NASA live footage. I was like, wow. But they both looked younger. What? What? 
Is that Mandela. a Man, is that a Mandelta effect? I think it might even be a Mandingo effect. The street version? Yeah. Weird. The Jaren <laughs> version? <laughs> exactly. Ah, uh, well, I all think right. augured this one into the ground and yep. created uh, some. Put this one to bed. <laughs> some injury as well, and insult to injury. Yeah. There were some people trolling the chat that got booted who were saying that this is sick and horrible that we're that we were trying to do a live blood test to determine blood type and Rh negative oh, on the air. Come on, people, be more specific. It's a blood ritual. No, don't say that because these kind of people will run with it. But go ahead, uh, run with it. We all know. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, little little hellfire. There we go. Um, Rad Tech Me does have something good, which is most videos produced. <laughs> I think I've got that one. Yeah, I think you do. I mean, I'll have, I'll e easily have a thousand by the conference. Yeah. So I don't think most, mo no, because most videos produced, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, wow. honestly, I could, I could just do ten promos a day. Uh, been taking pics as I'm going to stop, even though I could keep going. Oh, here's a really, really good one from Timaeus. And we're going to end it right here. And maybe we'll bring this up again another time because we've got a ways till fall. Um, right. Most flat earth friendly glober or, yeah, or goblin as it's been goblin. called. Goblin. Well, I don't know if there is such a thing, though, because if you're really a glober, you're going to end up flipping over. How many people that are still globers are... Hanging out with us on a regular a basis that aren't trolling us. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, Gem Panda is pretty friendly. Yeah. yeah. Who covers I guess, the but I, don't, but I don't know if you get a award for that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I look, if you're not, if you're great not ideas. part of the community, I mean, let's face it: death to all who oppose us. <laughs> Alex Aquarius, who came to my flat Earth meetup, says, "I'm surprised at what I look like." <laughs> talking about himself yeah we all are when we look in the mirror we're like wait a minute yep oh no no when i <laughs> when i had to send daniel the picture you know i had to go back in my way oh, back yeah. machine and send him a list of pictures yeah i was getting sentimental of my those you know. good looks from days gone by yeah thank you by the way for yeah taking but my ego from here to here i saw i've seen all those photos of you when you were young when you had blonde hair. Um, Knowledge love. Scavenger says, uh, where's my new car for inventing, inventing the world, inventing the word children instead of children. 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 Not so children who are shills, which are more like trolls. They would be shrolls, <laughs> children sh trolls. Can we nominate Flat Earth Daughter? For Shil children award, we can uh, her um, invisible daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, Ukdina Walker is is echoing what I said that uh, she had a lovely time with Jim Panda today in Martin Leakey's chat. So, yeah, it's fine. You don't get an award for <laughs> being the <laughs> nicest globalist. Well, yeah, yeah let's get, he might come let's around. Although he did for the for the most cordial Nazi. He no, he did make uh, Jim Panda. Probably won't be coming around to Flat Earth anytime soon since he did make a very lengthy why we really went to the moon um, and, and how it happened video. Why very we... detailed. Very detailed. Look, if you believe the American space program in 2017, you got problems. Yeah, I'll agree with you there. I mean, I've got a single photo on my desktop, which I keep just for reference that I can just fire off to people. Mm -hmm. And it shows so many things wrong. And it's an official NASA photo from their archives with the stamp on it you know unedited in any way and it's like you if you can look at this thing zoom in it's high res you can crank the zoom in and look around What's and say oh on? hashtag legit the then what it's the moon well it's a shot from you know it's it's a shot taken on the moon of the the capsule and the, the dish i'll send it to you yeah i'm but sure it's the landing gear completely dust free no blast oh, crater the, and and it shows a perfect example of the intersecting shadows. Look, you can't get around the intersecting shadows. You can't do it. The shadows have to go one direction if they're one light one light source and it's really really far away. Have to go. That's just the way it is. You're getting it's a like request that. from Jen L to do an entire show in your Russian accent. <laughs> ah, it's well, easy. <laughs> I enjoyed uh, this, and my finger didn't, but. 
We've learned a lot about the blood test. Get a friend if you're going to do it with you. If you want to find the blood test and find out if you're Rh negative or whatever blood type that you might be, give blood, donate blood. You or should don't. not donate blood. You need more blood. <laughs> or I don't. I mean, blood in you. You. research it. Maybe it's a bad idea. I've heard from Mukdina and she's somebody I really respect. So use your own judgment on that. I obviously won't be sending my blood off somewhere to find out what I'm, what I really am, Rh negative or B minus. <laughs> you need to find homeless person and feed. Yeah. Mm. Or orphanage. I don't know. <laughs> Well, we'll uh, see you again next Wednesday, and uh, I hope that if you're in the UK or, or going there, that I will see you in the flesh, and that is with uh, Nathan Oakley, Martin Liebke, and a whole bunch of other flat earthers in uh, the Royal Leamington Spa. It's a town in the UK, and I'm flying tomorrow, and I'll be there and come back on Monday, but the event's Saturday. And that's in, the in the flesh, really? Is that a vampire joke? No. Oh. <laughs> I know, right? You just can't help yourself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I and um, in the tasty flesh. That's mm -hmm. what you should have said. Oh, I want to show mm. everybody one more thing before we go. All you pale British people. <laughs> <laughs> that, oops, my mic just moved. That my cat Flynn is okay. He had Aww. an accident and he is okay. And some people who follow me on Facebook know about his accident. He was hospitalized for two yeah, days. Yeah, talk closer than Mike. He was hospitalized for two days, but he's back and he's totally fine and beautiful. Is he a vampire cat? No, he's not. And uh, the witch's it, cat. <laughs> stop. And uh, in the uh, description box of this video, we've also got Robbie D of Celebrate Truths channel. We've also got uh, the Flat Earth Conference link. I also have uh, listed my um, Twitter, if you want to follow me on Twitter, uh, and also my Instagram. I finally put that in there too. So follow me on Instagram and I'll follow you back. And until we meet again, uh, in your Russian accent, Mark, will you say the closing words for this show? Um, uh, keep it flat. George. And Illuminati confirmed. George Clooney.